Listen carefully, mouth breathers of the world. This is Patricia Tannis, and I have found another vault. As you may know, the opening of the first vault five years ago triggered a chain reaction that revealed more Boring. vaults on Pandora. Boring! You don't want to hear about that, Vault Hunter! You want to hear about loot and pecs and explosions! I'm Torg, and I'm here to ask you one question, and one question only. Explosions? Get off this echo frequency, you protein-guzzling buffoon! I'm trying to convey- That sentence had too many syllables! Apologize! As I was saying, I've discovered that this new vault is buried in the center of a large crater, and will only open, and I quote, once the champion of Pandora feeds it the blood of the ultimate coward. We at the Tor Corporation sincerely believe this is fucking awesome! It's so awesome that we're gonna set up a tournament to find us number one badass. If you want in, come to where the vault is buried, in the badass crater of Badassitude! That's not what the area is called! Badass crater of Badassitude! <sighs> Out there. Vault Hunter, I hear you need a sponsor. 
And as it so happens, I need a new apprentice. Come find me at the arena. Just follow the succulent scent of success. <laughs> Piston, what would you say to those who accused you of cheating, of rigging fights to gain your number one ranking? Wow, Jeffrey. Well, I guess I say I'd have to do this. And then I tell them to never call me a cheater! And you can quote me on that. Hey, over here, newbie. You are now in the presence of greatness. Here's what Piston's offering, Chickadee. Piston will sponsor you. Piston will take you under his muscly wing, and we will open that vault together. I've already set up your first fight in the arena. Get in there, and show him that Piston and the Vault Hunter are a force to be reckoned with. Is it just me, or does it seem like he's gonna betray the f*** out of you? Usually, your first match will be against a single opponent, but I thought, eh, instead you're gonna be fighting a few dozen chunks called the Horde of Horrors. Now, I could keep the rest with both tanks tied behind my back, but you wanna take it easy. Toodles! Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like our next combatant has arrived. Does the Vault Hunter have what it takes to survive the appetite for destruction round? I think we all know the answer. Maybe! The rules are simple. Use the provided loot and kill everybody. The last fighter standing is a bona fide badass. Go to the center of the arena when you're ready to start.
That noise you're hearing is the arena filling up with Armstrong gas. I've turned off the cameras. Just breathe deep and pass out like a good little coward. What happened to the camera feed? Why do I hear gas? Did somebody drag the vault underway? I have no idea what is going on! <clears throat> what the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, the vault hunter has disappeared from the arena! I don't know where the f*** did he go! Let me educate you, Talk. The vault hunter <laughs> ran away. They found out they'd have to fight me, Piston, to become the number one badass on Pandora. And they ran away, like a little baby. Ran away? This is a travesty! I've got no choice. As the head of the Torg tournament, I must officially dub the Vault Hunter a coward! Okay, it's straight up dog time. I know you ain't actually a coward. But f*** that twist and it didn't make for some good TV! Still, you're gonna need a new sponsor if you want to stay in the tournament! Get to the beatdown! <laughs> the number four rate badass it's lives robot out here! Time. His name's Pyro Peak, and he... Huge coincidence! Kidnapped one of the freelance sponsors around here a day ago! You should go kill him and meet him, but not in that order! I tell you, that false hunter coward was like a child to me. A sponsor brought him up. And when it came down to the come down, they ran away in fear. To how the mighty have fallen. Even with the whole coward thing, you're still the number five badass on the Torque leaderboard, and Pistons number one! You like just gotta kill your way up the list, and then you'll be able to whip out your heroism and slap Piston in the face with it! Respect the robot! <laughs> <laughs> it's the coward! You're gonna burn! Burn, burn, burn! Say me, bitch, fire in the sky! Let's talk! Fire walk with me! Fire talk with me! You'll kill Pyro Beats ass at some point! But you gotta wait until you find out where he stashed that sponsor you kidnapped. Otherwise, you can't rise up the leaderboards! <laughs> oh, right in the wing nut! Be my guardian! Look out, boys! Be my guardian! Burning up inside. You want a sponsor? Yes, I have a warm one. But let's dance. First, start some trouble here in the beat town, and then I will get to you. Get to the battle board. Go now before the flames rise. This gimmick is that he really likes fire. Place in the science fair. Get ready to grab a beer and kick some rear! Cause it's time for a beat down bar brawl! Just pick a fight with the drunks and stay alive! Get back! 
is in the bar. Go find her. This is not a trap. Um, There's no escaping, Murph! Yeah. Run away, little girl! Run away! Here we go, fight fans! It's Pyro Pete versus the Vault Hunter! Fight! in the vault, and given how tragically long it's been since I ran my own fighting ring, I want Torx Coliseum for myself. I think it's time you and I became partners. With benefits. Head back to the main crater and we'll talk strategy. So you found another sponsor. That's sweet, baby. But let me explain something. You're still just a no-name merc with muscles like wet noodles. My pets are laughing at you right now. <laughs> you hear that? Bad news! A diseased midget fell into the Black Label Brewery a couple of weeks back, which means all our beer is poisonous f and has to be Rico. Kill anyone holding a beer and bring back all the tainted bottles that you find. How have you guys it's in my mouth? Pluck the hair from the head of a dying Let me Darling, right now you're ranked fourth on the Torg leaderboard, but don't worry. There's nothing better than getting to third. Base. 
It's a sex thing. The rank three badass is a cannibalistic roadhog named Motor Mama. You'll need to train a little before you take her on, but I've hired the best trainer in the business. Go meet her. Motor Mama's hiding out, just waiting for the other gladiators to kill each other off. Once you're done with your training, you'll be ready to lure her out. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the wild child, the queen of obscene, that girl who'll make you hurl! Tiny Tina! What's up, Shorty? I'm gonna be a trainer. Right now, you like pow, but when I'm done, you're gonna be like killer pow! Get your butt to the arena and let's do this shit. <laughs> Step one of my training regiment is food. You got to get those carbs, son. The back of the arena got tons of noms for the workers. Get some cookies so you can eat them and grow up big and strong and kick piston in a butt butt. Don't get me wrong, sugar. I know you don't generally need the help of a trainer, but it'll go over great with the crowds. There's nothing the masses love more than a training sequence. Oh, snap! They got chocolate chip! As a connoisseur of tasty treats, I can assure you chocolate chip cookies are the for real deal. A lot of people think you gotta eat protein and stuff if you want to strength train, but I'm like, Real badasses eat chocolate chip cookies! I'm gonna get that tattooed across my back in old English font. Atta boy! <laughs> Wait a minute. Those cookies were a chocolate chip. Those raisins. Sugar, looks like they call this one the death race. You've got to speed across the crater and kill a bunch of bikers along the way. If you do well, Motor Mama might lift her shirt for us. Uh, metaphorically. been trying to get my attention. If you like, we can fight each other and see which of us is the best. Sound fun? I'll be waiting for you. 
Don't let her voice throw you. Motor Mama is a stone-cold psychopath. I don't want to get too graphic, but let's just say she eats her own children. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Do you know who just arrived at the beatdown? Sully the Stabber! He's my third favorite mass murderer in the entire world! You have to get his autograph for me! Get his signature on this, please. <laughs> Please, 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 please. If I don't get his autograph, I'm gonna die. He's my favorite -est. He killed every living person in the bathroom of his with nothing but a rusty bottle. If you don't take it, I'm gonna start crying. Please, 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 please. Oh, baby, please, 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 baby, please. please. Yeah, please, 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 please. That was Please by Tiny Tina featuring the Vault Hunter on bass. Oh my God, thank you so much. So he's on the beat down. Just bring me his autograph and you will be my favorite person ever! Forever! Listen up, Vault Hunter. A monster is hiding out somewhere in the crater. It's big, deadly, and totally awesome. Go kill it! Hi, hi, Scooter Man's talking at you. There's this slack sucker little bitch named uh, Hamhawk. Moxie told me to try to cop a few orders, so that some bitch has gotta die. Now, I hired a few extra trigger men to deal with this rat tapping ass just in case, but I thought I'd get my old pal first dudes on him. Hi, you know what I'm saying? You know our besties, you know that. Don't kill Hamhawk. I stretched the truth when I told Scooter he tried to cop a feel. Hamhawk's no angel, but I was drunk, and honestly, what happened was pretty consensual. Like, four to five bases worth of consensual. So, here's what I propose. You take out the other hitmen Scooter hired, and you let Hamhawk live. Sound good? Hey, why don't you kill Hamhawk yet? You know we use Brother Spine as a skip and rope, don't you? I went to the national championships with the damn thing. Besides, I roared the hell out of you once you deep six him. Gosh, damn! Dang it, Vault Hunter! I'm sorry, Hamhawk. At least the Vault Hunter will make it quick. What? Wowie! I knew you'd come through for me, Vaulty. Uh, that's my new nickname for you. Short for Vault Hunter, which I keep calling you because you don't know your real name. Is it Steve? I think it's Steve. Whatever it is. Actually, you know what? I just talked myself out of the nickname thing. You know everything I just said. But that thing's even better, you know what I'm saying? 
Come on back, girl. I may bring the pizza just for you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I'm gonna come up with a new nickname for you. Ha, are you ready? You ready? Uh, uh, uh. Hunty, uh, 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 hunt, uh, 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 feed to the AR Hunter, uh, 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 Craig. Uh, uh, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come up with something, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get this. Hang on. Let's go! It's time for the other gladiators to get scared, sugar. Scared of you. I stole some of the wanted posters printed about you Vault Hunters. Plaster them around the arena so the other gladiators know exactly what you're capable of. Sully was my third favorite murderer. You know who my number one is? It's you! Oh, how sweet, I'm gonna throw up. I just bought a puppy! His name is Enrique, and he is as adorable as a mother humper. Do me a flavor and take him for a walk, would you? It'll help with your training and give Enrique some exercise. I'll mark his location on your echo thingy. gotta open his cage and lead him through some of his favorite spots. But be careful, he is a very affectionate puppy and he'll love your face off if you don't stay ahead of him. Oh, oh, oh. 
usually one from military men, but I gotta say, wow. Oh, snap! The monster I sent you to kill is actually a monster truck! Puns! Good job beating that punny piece of shit into the dirt! Come on back, duck sucker! Ah, the gunzerker. Frightening yet hairy. Can you say, Lady Boner? The Vault Hunter's going after Motor Mama for the number three spot on the Torg leaderboard. I'm glad somebody is actually making an effort to fight other gladiators. The rest of you horses are just sitting around waiting for challengers to come to you, p***ties! The crowd loves a man of mystery, and so do I, for that matter. Holy Skaxmith! Those Vault Hunters are serious badasses! But it don't matter. We'll kill you anyway! Right, guys? Right? You're all done, sweetheart. The gladiators in the arena ought to know who they're messing with now. Come on back. I'm 
must say I'm really looking forward to our fight. I've been waiting to fight a real warrior, and having watched you in action, I truly believe that you will make me work hard before I ultimately kill you and devour your body. Careful. Motor Mama loves vehicles. That's what attracted her. What ho! It's your old chum, Sir Havelock, with a quest for you. There appears to be a new species of rack somewhere in the amusingly named Badass Crater of Badassitude. Go find these creatures, would you? Wanna meet my girlfriend? Have a dirt kill! V-Hunts! I may not know as many $5 words as Professor Mustache over there, but I know what scares me. One, rack. Two, genetic resurgent. Three, genetically enhanced rack! Give me them war sacks so Hammer Hawk can't create a race of murderous super rack, man! The over-enthusiastic mechanic is panicking over nothing, my dear friend. If you return the sack, you can be touche. I nearly forgot to mention. If you would like me to not eat you until after you were dead, I understand and respect your wishes. I will also completely ignore them. I'm so glad you could make it. I'm gonna kill you and make sandwiches out of your corpse. It's that time again! Motor Mama versus the Ball Hunter! Fight! you fight Motor Mama, and I just want to say, damn, girl, you is a pimp. I just... Mm. You know what you are to me, kid? You're a tick I can't burn off. You're an itch I can't quite scratch. You're a piece of goddamn broccoli stuck in my teeth. But soon, I'm going to get rid of you for good. You ain't broccoli? Broccoli tastes like butt. Three pounds of flesh! Nicely done! Wow! <laughs> this ain't a <laughs> And science marches on. A wise decision, Bolt Hunter. You know what? Fine. But when them skies are full of hyper-intelligent flying creatures of death, just you remember that you sided with the guy who talks like somebody tossed a dictionary in a food processor. Time to go for the number two ranking, sugar. 
I've tracked down the number two ranked fighter, name of Flyboy. Head to the forge and take him down. A picture's worth a thousand words, or in your case, the word kill repeated a thousand times. Hey, Sugar. I did a few promo interviews to talk you up before your big fight with Piston, but it sounds like they went missing. Go find them, would you? Gee, I wonder who stole and hit the interview tapes. Oh, wait, I just remembered. Me, baby! Piston doesn't want any competition on the airways. You dig? Watch in suspense as the Vault Hunter heads to the forge. Destined to battle, Flyboy! Nothing can stop our Vault Hunter from achieving his goal. Nothing! Door locked. Plot twist! The door's locked? Great. Um, Torque Security would probably have the keys. Get to the arena and steal them from the security box. Moxie! The fans say your Vault Hunter is a coward. How do you respond to that? I don't, Sugar. You just watch my Vault Hunter in the ring. You watch the way they turn die-hard badasses into tear-soaked cream puffs. And you tell me they're a coward. You want to know who the real coward is? A little scaredy cat named Piston. He's a cheat and a liar, and he better start being scared because my Vault Hunter... Oh boy, they're coming for you. You sound pretty confident. <laughs> Bet on it, kids. By the end of this tournament, the Vault Hunter will spill Piston's blood. The odds aren't in your Vault Hunter's favor, Moxie. What makes you think they'll survive? You ever heard of a guy named Captain Flint? The King of the Rippers? He was, until he met the Vault Hunter. Sugar, my Vault Hunter has laughed at Handsome Jack, defeated the Bloodshots, killed Pyro Pete, and single-handedly defeated more of Pandora's horrors than everyone else in this tournament put together. If anybody has a chance of surviving this tournament, hell, of surviving life on this planet, it's them. Moxie, is there anything you'd like to say to people listening? You'd better believe it. I've got a message to the other gladiators in the tournament. Just one teeny tiny message. Motor Mama, Flyboy, Piston, if you have any desire to survive this tournament, you'll listen to my message very carefully. And that message is? Run. sure they're broadcast all over the crater. Now that you've brought those interviews back, they should play over the crater loudspeakers every once in a while. Just so your weak ass knows. I'm the one who locked the forge. Not because I'm worried about you ranking up. I could detonate your skull with but one well-timed squat thrust. But to spare you the indignity of losing a fly boy. Torpedo, repairing him, shutting down. Watch this! The Vault Hunter is breaking into Torque security! What a renegade! A renegade cop who no play by nobody's rules until the commissioner assigns him a talking robot dog for a burger! Success. Who helps him track down the crime syndicate that murdered his family, all the while teaching him a little something about life in the process Thursdays at 9!
security box. Open it and grab the keys to the forge. Now you can get into the forge, take down Flyboy, and become the number two badass on the leaderboard. This is Flyboy, with a message for that vault hunting noob sauce. I am the future. You vault hunters are old noobs. I'm the new hotness. Don't be jelly, you rook. I'm just gonna K your Ray so hard, you'll beg me to S-Y-I-T-F. What do you think, Pants? Can the vault hunters' experience prove stronger than Flyboy's youthful arrogance and weird-ass slang? Almost certainly! But I'll pretend otherwise to maintain dramatic tension! Flyboy's a spunky one. He just turned 16, so naturally he thinks he's invincible. You're gonna prove otherwise, sugar. To the forge, but good luck getting in my quarters, please, Breeze. My lair is freaking impenetrable. No tray. Flyboy may think he's defended, but I found three access points to his lair. Get to the battle board and blast your way through any of the access points, and you'll get your shot at Flyboy. <laughs> Poor bastard has no idea what he's in for. Almost makes you feel bad. Almost. Hey, Vault Hunter! I've got a job for you! Why don't you kiss them? That was some Bush League smack talk. Why don't you pay those idiots a visit and set them up for good? I mean, kill them! And no questions asked. Flyboy guy, he's a noob. Just stick to the fundamentals I taught you and you're gonna be ace. What fundamentals? Eat lots of cookies? Shut the hell up, Moxie! You don't understand my process? I take it back, girl. You know I love you. You forgive me? <sighs> I guess. Sure, whatever. Flyboy's so arrogant, he thinks his buzzard's army will protect him. But once you wipe them all out, he'll learn that pride goeth before a fall. Icarus symbolism! If you kill Flyboy's men and steal his toys, he'll invite you to his lair so he can kill you! Ah, the folly of youth! Flyboy again, reminding you that if any of you, if any of you think about that second pistol before I can, I will save you! I've had my eye on this since top spot since I got here, and nobody takes him out but me! Nobody! Yo me voy a sucker! I'm gonna make a 
just didn't promise to you, baby. Regardless of what happens with that piss and fly boy, you are not leaving that forge alive. Here you go, Dirch. You worked real hard just to get your she's pussy in this close to the end. Once I'm in a buzzard, Muhammad himself could not stop me. I'm gonna show you what a real badass is. Ladies and gents, we're nearly ready for Flyboy and the Vault Hunter to face off. Hey, get off my echo, lady. I only let you co-host as a one-time deal. Sorry, Tor, but I'm much better at doing the blow-by-blow -blow commentaries for these fights. Big deal. I can use innuendo, too. Tonight's fight is between Flyboy and the Vault Hunter. Blowjobs! This is where it aids you, TPR! I'm gonna DT my buzzard with your goddamn spine! We're ready to start! Flyboy versus the Vault Hunter! Fight! <laughs> Holy f shit! Some huge goddamn airship just murdered Flyboy! I demand to know where the ref is! What the f is a ref? Leave nothing standing! Some tires are coming out of the blimp! Hold on to your butt! Sounds insane, but I'm certain of it. He's somewhere in the Torque Forge. Look for a skag with a red scarf. Find him, please. Hmm. None of those skags has a scarf. Oh well. Just kill them all. Take that, Uriah! Nobody cheats on me with impunity! I thought paying that gypsy to turn you into a skag would quell my lust for vengeance, but it wasn't enough! Now die! Was it worth it, Uriah? Was it worth being turned into a skag? I hope it was, you bastard! Job. One of those skags must have been my husband. Hey, Vault Hunter! Over here!
So, uh, yeah, I'm not a skag. I ran away once that maniac Jared found out I cheated on him. Look, can you do me a favor and give him my scarf so he thinks I'm dead? Uh, oh, and also, don't kill me. I, I just realized that stepping out of my hiding spot when you already thought I was dead was probably a bad move, so, uh, yeah. That got awkward fast. Thanks, Chief. Just take that scarf to Jerick and we can all go home. You found his scarf? So he really is dead. Wow. I feel... kind of sad. Nope, now it's past. I'm happy again. Screw that guy! This is it. Piston is the only thing standing between you and a vault full of loot. You know what to do, sugar. Say, what are you planning to do with the arena once the tournament is over? Oh, probably get a construction team in here to carefully disassemble it, and what the f*** do you think? We're gonna blow it up! Oh, Sugar, I've got a much better idea. <clears throat> this is where it all ends, fight fans! Are you ready? I told you to stay away, Vault Hunter. But now it's time I fought you in single combat. Gladiator versus Gladiator. Versus... Goddamn Metal T-Rex! Piston, you cheating bastard! I'm not a cheater! That badassosaurus is the greatest mechanical marvel I've ever seen! It is the Henry the Fourth of robotic dinosaurs! I tell you, Torg, this is a legendary battle between good and evil, between cowardice and heroism. Between giant metal T-Rexes and things that aren't giant metal T-Rexes. Well put. I know. The badass Asaurus has been destroyed. It will always live on in my heart. No! Oh, you win it. You got it. Prepare to feast the champ. All of you, shut up! That's it, folks! The blood of a coward has been spilled by Pandora's number one badass! The vault is gonna open! Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Vault Hunter! The vault opening! It's time for a loot explosion! Why, hello there. And that, boys and girls, is the story of how the Vault Hunter became the champion of Pandora. You forgot the part where the Vault Hunter kicked Piston the ball so hard he exploded? Because that never happened, Tina. Irrelevant! Calm down, Torg. You've got other things to worry about, like giving me your arena so I don't tell your stockholders about this little tournament. How the f*** am I supposed to know that illegal off-world death matches are illegal? Sugar, I think this is gonna be the start of a beautiful relationship. Once upon a time, the Vault Hunters played a game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we gonna die. Now. Roll for initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. Tina, why don't you start over? 
Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As your Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and... Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because... Shut the hell up, Morty! Tina? She's right, though. Shut up. While our vault hunting buddies beat the slam jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Mechromancer, the Commando, the Siren... Siren. Dibs. My Siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl. You know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not here anymore. Yeah, he's probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said... Roll for initiative, suckers! Switch it out! We arrive at the docks of Flame Rock Refuge. This place Good used to be really nice, decision. until the handsome sorcerer messed everything up. I say we head toward the town to investigate. Swap a it's a lovely day in Flame Rock Refuge, a far cry from. Wait, didn't you just say the sorcerer messed up the town? Why would things be lovely? Uh, whoops. Uh, what I meant to say is, it's eternal night, and you hear spooky music. And the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Uh, Suddenly you're attacked by a horde of skellymans. They start shooting at you! get close to the entrance to Flame Rock Refuge, but suddenly... The handsome sorcerer's pet dragon appears! Surprise attack! Oh, ho, I want to smack it. <laughs> you try to attack the dragon, but your attacks do nothing! The dragon attacks, and... Critical hit! Great. Are we done now? Tina, uh, you can't start your campaign with a boss fight. Players can't win. Hmm. Touche. Okay, everybody back up! Not dead yet! I wanted to kill something. Okay, how about a new boss? He's a skeleton. And his name is. Mr. Bony Pants Guy? I am Mr. Bony Pants Guy! Does that work? This pleases me. All right, the road to Flame Rock Refuge is open. You should go there. Go, go, go. You've entered the town of Flame Rock Refuge. In the distance, you see the town's scouting blimps, always alert in case of meadows and stuff. What you gonna do now? Stop playing this game? Let's talk to some town folk. A grand idea. The queen has gone missing. Maybe her bodyguard Eleanor knows where she went. If the queen doesn't return, we shall never see the sun again! Sounds like we should go find this Eleanor. Have the crystal. Uh, the bodyguard isn't here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put the beast on the board. Blam! Girl looks like she got a problem. I punch her problems. I talk to her. In character, of course. <clears throat> Hello, madam. Is something the matter? The queen is missing! She went to the forest to bring the light back to the world! The beauty... So where'd she go? She said something about using the tree light to undo the curse. That must be where she's going. 
And so your purpose became clear. You gotta go to the forest and help the queen. The queen they is counting on you. Raise the dead. <clears throat> Nobody's technically allowed in the forest since the world went dark, but the gatekeeper's a real pushover. Just tell him I sent you. <laughs> Yes, the queen went into the forest. It's too dangerous to go alone. I shall accompany you. Just one second, and... Whoop, time out. I gotta take this. This Tina. It's Mr. Tor! Tina, put me in the game! Okay, the gatekeeper is now Mr. Tor. Woo! I wanted to see you. So I'm a gatekeeper, huh? In that case, you gotta prove your bad attitude past me. First task, blow up the village of scouting clips with the fire rivers. Because reasons! to see approaching threats. We had no reason to do that. Fantasy! All right, badass task two. Go to the town tavern. Wait, this town doesn't have a tavern. Okay, you're at the tavern. The bar owner has a problem. Talk to her. Hey, adventurer. It's closing time, but these idiots can't take a hint. Could you throw Man, him out for me? Was back. Don't be afraid to get rough. Oh. Thanks, sugar. Oh, oh, come on, alright. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll never see the you do shit. Alive. Yeah, I promise. Bitch! That is unacceptable! Chase him down! Punch him so hard he explodes! He's getting away! God, Tina, this makes no sense. Torg is ruining your campaign. I'm having fun. Well done! You're now badass enough to survive the forest! I am but a humble merchant, and these are my wares. If guns are magic, consider Swap that a bad potion. <laughs> no missing! I want you to blow up! The ocean! Can you please get him out of our way? All right, fair enough. Okay, Mr. Torg, I banish you to the stocks. The stocks? Awesome! Anyway, I'm called Davlin the Gatekeeper. I shall open the way to the forest. You will not survive the horrors of the forest on your own. I shall meet you inside and serve as a guide. Switching out! Could you head to the forest and find me something that'll protect all this beautiful girth? You see Sir Reginald von Bartlesby, aristocrat and riddlemeister. If you can solve one of his brain teasers, you'll get a reward. Well met, adventurers. I have a riddle for you. I am everyone and no one. Everywhere, nowhere. What do you call me? Everybody roll your insight stat to see if you can solve that riddle. I shall repeat the riddle. I am everyone and no one. Everywhere. Brick, don't slam your dice onto the board. You broke Tina's figurine. Whoops. Uh, you won. Yay. So what was the answer to the riddle? I don't know. Torg, why are you even playing? We all know you aren't actually interested in nerdy stuff, muscle boy. What? I can't like geek stuff just because I take care of my body? Discrimination! Can we get rid of this phony already? Ladies, ladies! I have an idea. Adventurers, you must find the three hidden questions of true geekiness. 
Torg, if you can answer my nerdy questions three, then a part of this game you shall be. In the Echo Show, Space Journey in Space, what color shirt denoted that a crew member was likely to be eaten by Thrag? Red Correct! On to the next question, adventurers. Why are you testing me on this stuff again? Because you're a muscly guy! We gotta make sure you're not faking geekhood just because it's trendy. He's getting away! Get him! King needed to reforge his broken blank. Sword! Correct! On to the final question! Man, you guys are being super exclusionary! Look, when I was a kid, boys mocked me for two reasons. My tattoos and bunkers and badasses. I suffered for my geekiness. You don't get to invade my culture just because it's cool right now. Holy stack suck! Repressed anchor much? Last question. In the 23rd episode of the 15th season of Blue Box Adventures, what is the name of the ship that abducts the Blue Box? I don't, uh... I don't know. Ooh, bad luck, Torg. Looks like you're not a real geek after all. <laughs> Why? I'm just interested in sci-fi and fantasy and unicorns and... Why can't I be part of your game? <laughs> oh. Wow, I, uh, I kind of feel like a dick. Me too. Torg, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I can totally sorry. join our game. You can give out side quests in town to or something. <clears throat> All right! You guys sure are the best. Where my mama didn't name me, Mr. Torg! Wait. Your first name is Mr. Torg? What's your last name? FLEXINGTON! Quest time, hump a dub A dangerous monster whom you should kill is hiding out nearby! End of quest briefing! Uh, times are tough, sugar. Ever since the sorcerer cast his Crumpocalypse spell, we've been running awful low on food. If you spot any crumpets, be a doll and grab them, would ya? Wait, we can only bring the town crumpets? Tina, you know there are, like, other kinds of food, right? You haven't seriously been living on just crumpets for the last few years, have you? I do not understand the question. What is a crumpet, anyway? It is a griddle cake made from flour and yeast, traditionally eaten with butter. All I ever eat, son! Ever? Seriously? You should literally be dead. No, dog! I gotta live forever! Tina, you're 13 years old! Maybe you should consider eating something other than crumpets. I brought food for lunch, you could- Oh god, what is that?! 
It's a salad. Why is it green? It looks like a devil. Just calm down. It's staring at me. You enter the forest of tranquility. Tranquility? Boring. Hmm. Okay, good point. <laughs> Dang, now I gotta come up with a better name for the forest. Looking for I got it! You're in a Damn! I knew I shouldn't have trusted trees. You find a jewel on the ground. Maybe the queen left it to mark her trail. Then we should follow the jewels that lead us right to her. Yeah, what Big Lily Style said. Just stick to the main road and you'll be ace. This forest grew from the corpses of my enemies. Isn't that a kick in the ass? Hey, maybe after I kill you, a fern will grow out of your body or something. People like ferns. You ever notice that? Uh, where you going? We're exploring. You may not want to do that. I only balance the combat on the main path wait, and- Wait, wait, how in the hell are we supposed to kill these things? Why? Ah, my bad, my bad! I'll fix it, I can, let me fix it! Boom! Combat balanced! This here is where the militia used to forge their armor before the sorcerer turned them all into skeletons. They ought to have something in my size around here. Damn! Looks like somebody hid the armor up in that there tray. Might want to give it a little love tap so it'll drop the goods. That ain't armor. Have you seen me? That little scrap wouldn't cover half a tit. Besides, it ain't like the bad guys are only gonna aim from the saucer bits. Buy me something with some more heft to it. Now that's what we're talking about. Bulky, protective, and 100% badass. You got a choice, my hoes. Do you bring Ellie the bulky armor, or do you grab the more boobalicious metal bikini for her? That's what I'm talking about! Bring that hot stuff back here! I'm gonna look so damn cool! Oi! Over here! <laughs> Follow me. I believe the queen went this way. Curses, a dead end. There must be some way through. This is orcish writing. Hmm. It says you need to bathe the artifacts in the juices of blah blah blah. Whatever. Looks like you just need to collect some blood fruit. What the hell? What's a blood fruit? It's a squishy thing that grows on the trees over... Yeah! Not for show Blood fruit grew on the tree ants. Well, they do. Think you're cool enough to grab the fruit without killing the tree first? A new friend. Catch me. Can't catch me. and eat some salad. Oh, no, no, no! Morty, 
Hold her arms. Brick, keep, keep her mouth open. No! You food fascists! You can't! Oh, whoa! Whoa! Don't let her bite you too hard, Brick. If she gives a taste for blood, we're gonna have problems. Good. Now smear it on the artifacts, please. Nearby orcs chop down a bunch of trees for a lumber yard. Plant this sapling in the middle of the camp, all right? Once you plant that sapling, protect it until it can grow into its full size. And then it'll wreak its vengeance on the orcs for defying Mother Nature. <sighs> You're near the camp. Just plant that sapling and show them nature's true power in blah 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 trees. Now protect the sapling and tell it to go to its full size. I'm gonna try that. Sapling's about halfway grown, so you know. Come and get me. You're almost done guarding that stupid thing. Works. <laughs> 
What happened to Bloodwing? Mm, mm. So anyway, she's so cute. Where is she? Let's just play the game, all right? Vault Hunter. You here to kill the monster too? Well, buzz off! He only spawns like every 10 minutes, and we were here first! Gasola Ispa! La 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 la! Get ready, everybody! It's spawning! Alright, guys! We got the kill! What? Now we'll have to wait! Five minutes for it to respawn! This is truly our darkest hour! He spots for 20 speed runs! Atia! If you make those other players rage quit, you can just kill the monster yourself! If you kill one of them with melee, headshot another with a sniper rifle, and desecrate the last one's corpse, they'll definitely rage quit! Hey! What are you doing? Ah! Don't stop it, jerkbag! Ah! This is my kill! Uninstall! Just uninstall your game and go back to your baby raising simulators! Vault Hunters are so oh, OP! Damn it! Once I get back to my corpse and respawn, you're dead! I'm back, you ex- la 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 That boss is Yo, swag! Eat sports, mega hacks for 20, get blazed! Ah, you dick! for taking care of those numbskulls. I left a gun for you kinda sorta nearby. Feel free to grab it, honey bear.
All right, I'm going to just give this one to you. You see a powerful gun on the ground. Rick, roll to pick it up. I got a one. A one? That's a critical fail, otherwise known as a fumble. What? How can you fail to pick up a gun? Uh, it looks like the gun flies out of your hands into the distance. Oh, whoopsies. What? That's the rules, Morty. Calm down, baby. Just track the gun down and roll again. You find the gun again. Lilith, roll to pick it up. Um, one. Oh, uh, while picking up the gun, it accidentally slips from your hands again, but not before breaking all your fingers. Take, like, Break a lot of damage. Break the numbers! Evil shall not fool the rebel and score fingers! This makes no sense! Yeah, that was harsh. Okay, last chance, last roll. Mordecai, do it up! Are you freaking kidding me?! Ah, against all known laws of probability, the gun transforms into an enormous monster. The swords for hands. Ah, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Bad ass coming! Dog. Ah! Yeah. Ah! The monster dies and drops... Uh, oh Will you pick it up? No. Ah, screw it. I'll just give it to you. Go ahead and take it. No rollies. I officially oh, hate that. dice. So cold. Light the bonfires. Need souls. Fire! Attack! Souls. Holy crap, that was annoying. Thanks for your help. I died like 80 times trying to get through those traps. Look, we gotta be careful. The guy who killed me and stole my souls is still somewhere around here. <laughs> Speaking of jackass, let me take him out, would you? And up with that creepy laugh, douche. Try stabbing me in the back while I drink from my flask now, jerkwad! Hey, thanks again. I got something for you. Ready it can be hard out here on Pandora. Bot? You better hold on to your humanity as best you can. Death Trap won an upgrade? Death Trap gets an upgrade? Follow, quickly! Another dead end. Damn the luck! I just remembered, this next fight won't work unless Roland's here. We should probably just take a break until Roland shows up. Stop it. Roland's not- Oh, I got an idea, I got an idea! The gatekeeper says- More orcish scrolls. It reads, Retrieve the White Knight 
For only he can open the way. And I know just where he is. Waypoint! <clears throat> Suddenly, you see the White Knight before you in all of his handsome, heroic glory! Shorty, you're the best. I owe you one. This can't be healthy. You fought well, girl. I'll be honored as hell to join your quest. Roland doesn't talk ah, like that. I wanna use he does when I'm voicing him, girl. Yes, yes. For shizzle. shizzle. Now let's go. Now let's go. Hey, girl. I was in that blimp looking for the queen before somebody burned it down. So, who's this queen, anyway? What are we looking for? She's the most beautifulest woman in the history of ever. Shorty's got legs for days! Wow, that was... unhelpful. Tina? Tina! Sorry. Just thinking about them legs. Ah, the White Knight. Stand here and raise thy sword, good sir. Okay. <laughs> Behold, the path to the Tree of Life is open. Mayhaps we shall find your queen there. What is this place? Vitality Grove. This is where the Tree of Life first took root. The tree holds all the good and natural magics of the world. The Queen must have come here to reverse the Sorcerer's Curse. The Queen's, uh, not here. Hmm. The writings say we could reverse the curse ourselves with a simple ritual. Give me the blood fruit. We shall reverse the curse, then find the Queen ourselves. Gods of the old magics, give me the strength to undo the horrible curse that was cast by the handsome, intelligent, and super awesome sorcerer! Hodam Shiva! Hodam Shiva! Hodam Shiva! <laughs> oh crap. Ghost King spell! Booyah! Face! Handsome sorcerer here! Yeah. He kidnapped the queen like three hours ago. Sorry, in my tower. Oh, thanks for helping me summon the ghost king here, though. That was nice. Have fun dying! What? The gatekeeper was actually the handsome sorcerer all along? Rock twist! Wait, what? That makes zero sense. Rock twist! Like a true knight. Incoming badass! 
Anyway, if you're looking for the Queen, the Sorcerer's got her. We need to cut through the Dwarven Slave Mines to reach his tower. Enter the dwarven mines. You hear the anguished wails of the sorcerers, political prisoners, and enslaved dwarves. My bullets aren't magic, but they are cheap. Yield goodbye. These mines Welcome house Ragnar, king of the dwarves and leader of the anti sorcerer resistance. Mayhaps, if you talk to the dwarves, you could join forces and be unstoppable. Don't worry, boys. My charisma is off the charts. I'll convince him to. Ah, 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 Lily. Whoever rolls highest will talk to him. Throw them dice. Winnie! <laughs> Ooh, sorry, Lil. Looks like Brick's gonna talk to the Dwarf King. I have a bad feeling about this. Boys are itching to fight by your side. I punch him! Rick, don't. If you just talk to him, we can. I punch him! Get it! Oh. Hey. 
you see a lonely wizard blocking your path. Maybe he can help us out of here. I say we talk to him. With words. I don't know why y'all looking at me. Oh, no! Another band of adventurers looking to take down the sorcerer. Look, you won't make it. You'll either die or be enslaved. And I can't in good conscience let you continue in your foolhardy quest. You shall not pass! If you really want to get to the Sorcerer's Castle, I'll mark the exit on your map. But if you die, you won't be able to say I didn't warn you, because you'll be dead. The exit is locked by Dwarven door locking magic. Well, damn! Now how do we get out of here? You know, that wizard may know something about Dwarven door locking magic. I can't believe you made me eat 
salad. It wasn't that bad, was it? No, it wasn't. It was tasty. That's the problem. It's impossible. I didn't need to be such a dick about it. My bad. I'll make it doable. look exactly like Salvador. That seems kind of... Uh... Yeah, I know, Free Lily. You think it's racist or something? I'll sell downstairs if he thinks it's racist. Hey, Salvador! Is it okay if all the dwarves in my campaign look like you? That is awesome! Oh, yeah! Not racist. Before you is a dwarven puzzle. To get past it, you gotta think real hard. To the max! Man, 
I hate puzzles. I want to break stuff. Is that how you wanted us to solve the puzzle? Yeah. Let's go here. I liked it. That's the letter F. Only one letter left. I've got the last letter Muppet. And with the sorcerer's power coursing through my veins, you'll never get it. Good. You found it. Now, place the beard bits within its magical dwarven bowels. How long have you been waiting to use the phrase magical dwarven bowels? Several hours. Yes! Now, strike while the beard is hot! the lair of Grey Tooth the Dwarf. The sorcerer brainwashed him into running this place. You also notice a weird-ass magic globe. Might be why Grey Tooth's so mean. Welcome to my lair. Now free and die! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! A boss fight? Let's do this! All the way back? Oh, man. All right, girl, all right. Here. I made some glowy portals for your laser butts. Did you just say laser butts? Whatever that is, I want it. <laughs> R-A-T-F? We have to unscramble that? Is it raft? I bet it's raft. Charge of orc magic for power. You know what to do. 
Was that not the password? Oh, God. I just figured it out. So say it. Fine, it's... Art. <laughs> guys, guys! Did somebody say fart? What a stinky thing to say! <laughs> yeah. You ruin everything. Welcome to Ye Old Bullet Emporium. Don't put those all in one place. You have chosen wisely, wise chosen one. With the Sorcerer's Tower in sight, you think of what you're going to spend your reward money on once you rescue the Queen. Guns and ladies. And some kind of use. What is an eSports?! Hashtag it based! Without the Queen, this here, world babe. will remain in darkness. Sorcerer's castle, there lives a prince named Jeffrey. He's already murdered several innocent men, and if left alone, Jeffrey will become the most monstrous king this world has ever known. You must find him, kill his guards, and slap the bastard out of him. <laughs> Stay safe. Once we get out of this, I'll give you my magical sword gun. Wait! That's a gun that shoots swords! You know it. That gun shoots magical swords, and it is tight as hell. The bad guys won't know what hit them, but they'll probably assume it was swords. This is the best game I've ever played! Welcome! I am the great Spatula Khan, destroyer of a men and the pleaser of a taste bar. There he is. Looks like he's taking a nap. Just sneak up and grab the sword. Oh, looks like you got him angry. Just kill him and yank out the sword, hug a butt. It's still super weird that you're trying to make Roman talk. Your face is super weird. Oh, wow! Give me my brick! Oh. Help. down. Grab the sword, quick. Budge. You gotta keep yanking. Oh crap, the sword's cursed. It's reviving him. Watch out, his health's recharging. This sword's got the power to revive the dead. Might come in handy. Here, take my sword gun. Oh, man! But what if the sword you shoot explodes and then turns into three smaller swords? Which then explode? It will be like a sword explosion! Tina, make Roland's gun do the things I just said! Okay. Snap, snap, time! 
some sorcerers catapulting in some orcs to fight you. Be careful, dog. Evil is on the loose. I recently felled a dragon. I could not find a single oh. gun on its corpse. Oh. There is but one explanation. My car is on loop. Oh. Oh. Just oh. Oh. You must eliminate them and tell them what they stole. Gallo has gone mad. Mad, I say! I shall not give this insult to my honor. Have at you! Curious? He carried no loot. Mm -hmm. He must not have been the loot ninja. Still, track the others down. I will have my justice! This is utter lunacy. I am no ninja of loot. We are on I have no time for this. You are! Accursed luck! He carry no loot either. Ah, oh, well. It must be the final member of my former posse who betrayed me. Of this, I am certain! I'm still! Die! Loot Ninja, what's this then? He had no loot either. Curious. Nonetheless, you deserve a reward. Return to me! Return to me. Get your reward, shall we? Shame about my former colleagues. If none of them were stealing the good loot, I wonder who was. You may have one item from this chest. One! Chest on Man, that quest was dark and ironic. A true look into the duplicitousness of interpersonal relationships. Now come see me so you can explain what the hell I just said!
Good. Enter my court with weapons drawn. Guards, kill them! You've made it to Jeffrey's court. Kill his guards. And no! Impossible! Canine! Molehill! Destroy that intruder! Are you representing the show? Blow up! I've never watched it. I feel like I'm Well, you mean it. You think this was awesome? May the party faction! <laughs> now it's just the two of you. Beat Jeffrey in a duel, and you'll be good to go. A duel to the death! So, so be it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! You swine! You bastard! Good job. Now, since we're not in the business of killing kids, you're just gonna have to smack the arrogance out of him. How dare you! No one slaps <laughs> the prince! The prince may do as he likes! Right. Sounds like you broke his spirit. And yeah. maybe his jaw. Come on back whenever you're done with him. I tell you what! I'm going to give you a present! After I raise my armies and kill your friends, I'll give you their heads! Stop at once! I command you! Mommy! Mommy! You can't slap a king! May your hand fall from your wrist! My mother and 
uncle are just good friends, that's all! I, uh, that's all I got. I don't know what else to reference. I only saw the Echo Show and they ain't even done with the second book yet. I read the books? They're so good! Really? I heard they get kind of good. I mean, kind of, but there's still some good scenes. You could just wait for the show to catch up, though, or that's fine. What the hell are you people talking about? Just wait up. Hang on, wait up. I'm gonna release uh, my dragon on you in a sec. Just gotta get my camcorder ready. There we go. <laughs> gonna put dubstep behind footage of you guys dying and get tons of hits on the Echo Net. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Okay, action! The dragon from the beginning of the campaign approaches! Mike, come here! Go! Fire! Initiative! That was a lucky shot! Sounds like you could use some help. I'm gonna summon Rowan again. Kinda wish you wouldn't. have to stand on that spot. That seems suspicious. Is a trap door gonna open or something? What? No. Really? Because I feel like there's definitely gonna be a trap door there. Absolutely not. I promise the sorcerer will not open a trap door beneath you. Ah, oh, come on! You drop into the moldy dungeon, embarrassed at how easily the sorcerer lured you into his trap! Good luck escaping my dungeon, jackasses. <laughs> it's been real. So, how do we get back to town? You can't. You trap, son. But I want to do side quests and stuff. Oh, good point. Suddenly, this happened! Help? Hmm. Sounds like a prisoner or something. Maybe she'll know a way out of here. Well, let's go find her then. Welcome to Ye Old Bullet Emporium. Ye Old Goodbyes. Coins for bullets, bullets for coins. Tina, back there, you can't just force us to fall into a trap. We need a chance to escape it or something. I'm sorry, I didn't think you guys would make it so far in one session. I didn't plan this part in advance. I'm making it up as I go. Yeah, but the rules say. Lily, downstairs, six people are beating info out of a Hyperion spy, and you're talking about rules? Seriously? Hey, I'm Simon Wizard. Nice to meet you. I just cursed you. Don't be angry, though, because it's a pretty cool curse. You ready? 
You can talk to the dead. <laughs> like I said, pretty cool. In return for this gift, I need you to find my brother Edgar. Visit the mass graves I dug, resurrect some bodies, and see if Edgar's one of them. Also, you can raise the dead now. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyway, off with you. My corpse stuff. You just walk up and touch the bodies and you should revive them. Edgar in there? No? Nah? Doesn't look like it. He'd be wearing a crown. I think this is just some bad inside gangs. Oh well, better re-kill them all. I just want to make sure he's dead. We were both courting this duchess, she chose him, I got angry, blah blah blah. Anyway, when you do find him, put a bullet in his head. Save me. How? Side first. God, so irritating. I am Mr. Miz. If you choose to give me a great deal of your treasure, I will give you an amulet in return. Personally, if I had to choose only one item to help me in my quest, it would be this amulet. I await your decision. The amulet is yours. You will discover its purpose in time. The secret lies in Fandir's grasp. Wait, you liked the salad? Why is that a problem? You know who likes the taste of salads? Adults! I don't want to be an adult! Tina, you're talking to three grown people who just collected a bunch of imaginary crumpets because they thought it'd be fun. There's no such thing as adulthood. I... You know what, girl? You make a good point. You get to live. For now. Turn the quest into Ellie and I'll give you all some XP.
you know what? I just realized I was sitting on his grave the whole time. My bad. Come back and we'll re-kill him together. His body's right over there. Could you revive him? Wait, Volt Bro. Don't kill me. Kill him. Well, you're not gonna side with someone who just called you Vault Bro, are you? Shoot this muscly chucklehead already. You sided with the job? Really? You got Fratricide is the best to side. Let's talk. Thanks, bro. My soul feels hell at rest. <laughs> I shall never fall! Tina, nice. stop it! I miss Roland more than anyone, but you can't just deny it! Yeah, girl, that's cool. Suddenly you're interrupted by the sound of a distant voice crying out in pain! Coins for bullets! Bullets for coins! Keep the bullets flying! Well, I got potions in our All right, well, to see who does the talking. Oh, for the love of... Ha-ha! <laughs> Twenty! I punch her! Britt, no! She's our only ticket out of here. <sighs> Fine. I'll talk to the prisoner. Release me. I shall show you the way to my father's keep. Sure, why not? <sighs> Finally. I am free to wreak my vengeance upon the world! Starting with you! Two of my honey! I told you we should have punched her! I told you! Oh, Richard. yeah. Probably should have mentioned I kind of only trapped you in my dungeon so that you could do exactly Start what you just did, so... Have fun getting killed by my freak-ass daughter, I guess. Rock and roll! You seem to think she was. What? Nah, man. The sorcerer's daughter is the worst. If it weren't for her dumb butt, everything would have been fine and nobody would have died. I'm waiting. Tower. Now I can watch from my balcony as your torn limb from screaming bloody limb. Damn, Tina. That was graphic. Don't hate the player, hate the game. You better hurry. If you don't get here quick, Welcome my men are gonna to bust in your precious little queen cell and murder her ass. Good Tina. luck bringing light back to the world when your savior's nothing but a pile of ashes, chumps. 
Whoa, whoa. You wouldn't kill the queen before we even had a chance to save her, would you, Tina? I told you, girl. No rules. Duplicitousness? Who the hell talks like that? Oh my god, I just had the best idea! Crumbled chocolate chip cookies over a salad. Whatever floats your boat, kid. Wait! I just sat through a bunch of references I didn't understand. Can you at least reference something I know, please? Oh, BKB? What's your favorite show? Uh, that one with the rich duchesses? Where they're trying to get married. Oh my god, that show is so good. Okay, Mordecai, a stuffy aristocrat appears. Hello. If you so wish, you may converse with him about etiquette. My valet is having some trouble. I fear his limp from the war is impairing his ability to properly sort my coats. Oh my god, this show sounds stupid. You're stupid. I say, did you hear the lewd rumors about Lady Everly? Apparently, she touched a foreign diplomat directly on his wing wong. Ah, I remember that episode. She totally did. Man, what a douche. Last night, one of my servants inadvertently put too much salt on my chicken. The gall, the unmitigated gall. Ugh, show so good. I know, right? You guys are dorks. My bullets aren't magic, but they are cheap. If guns are magic, consider that a mana potion. Better hurry. <laughs> they attempt to draw us out. So, Return made it the last. last. Well, you're a bit too late to save your precious little queen, but hey, at least you get to die in unimaginable freaking pain. Here it is, the big boss! Are you sure you don't want to wait for Roland? We can't wait for Roland because he's- Time for a boo fight! Hey, get in front of me! Go to hell, Commando! <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're gonna really think you got a chance here, one of my do ya? Alright! <laughs> enough, Tina. You did it. We've won. And Roland showed up and he was really happy and everyone lived forever and it was great the end. Enough! You can't just deny what Jack did to Roland. Can't hear you. She's right, Tina. So do you want to do some side quests, or...? We need to accept it. Roland is dead! I know! I know! But it's my story! And... 
know what? It's okay. He doesn't have to go. Not if you don't want him to. Yeah, keep going. I actually want to know how the story is. Thank you. As the sorcerer's fatal spell hurtled toward the oblivious knight, it was clear that only a miracle would save him. But luckily for the knight, a miracle is exactly what he got. Yeah. So what did you guys think of that fight? I'm looking for some feedback. I like the part where we killed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Mordecai? It wasn't... wasn't bad, I guess. Don't forget, though, the Queen is still trapped in her cell! As you step over the corpses of the unfortunate knights who tried to murder their Queen, you know you've come to the right place. For who else could possibly bring the light back to the world? Who else but the most beautiful, most glamorous, and most graceful queen in history? But Stallion! That's... Wow. I don't know why I'm surprised. She... is... beautiful! With the Queen safe, she can finally cast her magic spell and bring light back to the world. She's gonna need some Iridium to charge her spell. Better feed her some! With a clop of her beautiful hooves and a whip of her fine ass hair, Queen Butt Stallion brought light back to the kingdom once and for all! The end. So, what did you guys think? That was really good, Tina. Hell yeah! That was honestly... pretty fun. Hey guys, that spy just coughed up the access codes to the Hyperion moon base. Anybody feel like blowing up a space station? Hell yes, I do! And so the Vault Hunters and their little psychopath headed back into the wasteland. Back, once again, into the world of blood and insanity they'd taken an all-too-brief vacation from. Goodbye. And in the days to come, they'd think of their fallen friends. Of the adventures they shared, both real and imaginary. And they'd remember that no matter how bad things got, they were never truly alone so long as they had each other. I love you guys! And then Claptrap said something stupid and ruined everything. Great job. You defeated the sorcerer and brought light back to the world. Sounds like you deserve a rest. Don't worry about the queen. I'll lead her back to town myself. No. Uh, are we done? We can't be done. Hell no! Nah. You got tons of side quests to do, boo, and I got all the time in one. But Stallion wants you to pet her. How are we, um, how are we supposed to pet her? Slap her on the badonka dunk. Duh. I pet the pretty pony. Roll to see if she loves it. She loves it. You are the prettiest pony. Uh-oh. It looks like Butt Stallion is hungry. What should we feed her? She's a glamorous queen made of diamonds, Lily of the Valley. You feed her the finer things in life, like iridium. Butt Stallion leaves you a present. It smells of rainbows and summer days. Ew. So if we just keep feeding her valuables, she'll poop out loot? That's what you're saying? Hi, so this. You're a weird kid. Hey, hey, more guy. Hey, hey. Love you. Don't be weird.
stupid wizards. Magic. I have two words for you. Magic slaughter. I've also got 24 more words for you. An old pal of mine named Murderlin the Wizard runs one of my circles of slaughter. Go find him if you're in the mood for orc killing. <laughs> Welcome to your potential doom. I, if you can survive the hazards of my arena, you shall be well rewarded. Welcome to Cleric Zed's Health Emporium. Respawn and try again. Now go. Enter the arena! Can you survive the first Coins for bullets! Bullets for coins! Don't put those all in one place! Yield goodbye! More than likely! The magic slaughter commences! How do you feel about trapdoors?
Was but the first trial. There will be several more. Magic. Bigger you are, the harder you. Drop and sentry. Dragon Bane. It's off to hell I go! very ground! You should have never come down here, you punchy oh. dick! Losing! So fun! Oh, Everybody, oh, stop oh, the oh, hill! Oh, Don't oh, shoot! Son of a bitch! Oh, You'll never watch the hill! Watch the hell I go! Doors.
Stuart! That was close. No, it wasn't! Fearful friend, the fourth fight is the most fiendish pentango thus far! Only 
just begun. To live! Something badass this way, come! <laughs>
Your try. Are you ready for the finalist round? <laughs>